Hi, my name is Shelley Edwards. I'm the Program Director for Healthy Families, Queen Anne's Talbot. Healthy Families is an evidence-based home visiting program that provides voluntary prevention and early intervention services to first-time parents who reside in Queen Anne's and Talbot counties and are eligible for Maryland Children's Health Program. This program has been providing services to these jurisdictions for 12 years. Our funding is provided through the Maryland State Department of Education, through Queen Anne's County Community Partnerships for Families and Children and Talbot Family Network. We have served 635 families, completed 11,000 home visits, completed 1,650 developmental screenings for children, and currently 100% of the children being served are developing on target. Children who have a good start in the first three years of life also have more success in school and fewer problems later with school failure, violence, drug abuse, delinquency, and teen pregnancy. Quality early childhood programs such as Healthy Families not only saves on future costs like the criminal justice system, but it also generates additional employment earnings and taxes paid by adults able to achieve more of their potential. The proposed fiscal year 2013 budget slashes the Healthy Families Home Visiting Program from the Maryland State Department of Education in half. That will result in completely eliminating funding in 10 jurisdictions, which include Queen Anne's and Talbot counties. This program has built a strong infrastructure for the past 12 years. Maryland's home visiting programs have proven their effectiveness through rigorous evaluation. This plays an essential role in the state's significant progress in decreasing infant mortality, teen birth, and low birth weights. Research shows that voluntary home visiting programs like Healthy Families Queen Anne's Talbot delivers real results for families and taxpayers, yielding a return as much as $5.70 for every dollar spent. We need to continue the state's investment in proven effective early intervention programs for vulnerable families because programs like Healthy Families Queen Anne's Talbot is proven to have a savings for our taxpayers. I'd like to introduce a current participant of Healthy Families, Latina Deaton. She has three children and she resides in Queen Anne's County. So Tina, tell me how you felt initially having a home visitor come into your home when we first offered you services. At first I was a little skeptical about it, but once I finally got into it, I was open more to letting a home visitor come because it actually answered a lot of questions that I had that I didn't know I had when I started having kids, you know. I thought I knew it all until I had them. I was like, oh wow, <laughs> like, where did this come from? And having a home visitor actually opened up that, it, it opened me up more to being able to ask questions and feel comfortable with asking them questions. What were some of the questions that you had about your child and raising your child? Like, some of them were milestones, things that like at certain ages they should be doing and they should not be doing. Well, not really say not be doing, but like things that they should be doing, like at this age should they be doing this? And, you know, but pretty much making sure that the kids were on track with their progression and their milestones and things like that. How has this program impacted your life? This has helped me out a lot. It helped me see a lot, open up, you know, to a lot more as far as like getting help and not feeling so, you know, scared to ask for help or you know, if it's something that I need, I don't feel like I, there's nobody there, you know, so it helped me a lot. We mentioned about the proposed cuts to the program that it's going to eliminate this whole program, Healthy Families Queen Hands Talbot from Maryland State Department of Education. What do you think about that and how would that impact your life? I think that if they cut the program, it would actually hurt not just me, but a lot of other young mothers, because the program is here to help young mothers and single moms, as well as a couple teenage mothers that to be good parents to their children. And to cut the program completely out would really hurt a lot of, it wouldn't just hurt the parents, it would hurt the kids, because there's a lot of things that the parents need to learn to make sure they have a healthy, you know, healthy family, happy kids. And so to cut the program would hurt the community a lot. How do you think that would impact the community, too, if we, if this program was completely cut from Queen Anne's and Talbot County? I think it would hurt them. It would really hurt a lot of, it would hurt the community, because it would be a lot of people that, a lot of young mothers that just wouldn't know what to do, and everything pretty much, you might as well say go haywire, you know, so. Can you tell us a little typical visit when your home visitor comes to your house, what it looks like? 
she comes, you know, she interacts with the baby. She shows me activities to do with the baby. We sit and we talk about things that went on throughout the week. You know, how am I feeling? How's the baby been feeling? And things like that. And make sure everything's okay. And ask, is there any questions that I need? As well as giving me handouts to of different milestones and activities that we should be doing. Have you been home. able to use those activities later after she leaves? Mm -hmm. And with yes. your other children as well? Yes. Would you recommend this program to other family in the community and yes, young mothers? Mm -hmm. This is Nicole Chase Powell. She is a home visitor, what Healthy Families calls is a family support worker, and I'm going to ask her some questions. Nicole, tell us how long you've been with the program. I've been with Healthy Families a year now. It's been a year and um, it's been wonderful. I really enjoy, um, really enjoy my job. That's great. What have you seen changes in families? Tell us some of the changes that you've seen since you've been here for a year. Um, first start working up with some of the moms. They don't have any goals, any dreams. Um, they really aren't sure of how um, to parent a child. Um, but as we've been working together, I've seen bonding. I've seen um, goals accomplished by going back to school, finding a job. Um, a few of my moms, they even moved out and got their own places. Um, and I've seen um, stronger relationships with parent and child, with parent and the child. So I've seen some wonderful outcomes. So some of those outcomes you see is families that may have been relying on more of the welfare system have come off of that and have been more independent? Independent, yes. Very independent, very um, outgoing, they really want to make a positive change in their lives. And I believe Healthy Families gave them that encouragement and that support to, to make those few steps. With the proposed cuts to the Maryland State Department of Education for home visiting healthy families, and one of the or two of the jurisdictions, Queen Anne's and Talbot County, will be completely eliminated. How do you think that would impact uh, these two communities? I, I think it would be very devastating. I feel that the work that we've done and have been working with these parents, it will it will all be eliminated. I feel more parents probably would go back on the system, you know, wanting help. Um, not going out trying to accomplish those goals and dreams anymore. Um, I see more problems in the home with child abuse and neglect, um, kids not being ready for school. Um, so I really see it will be a downfall for our communities if this program is eliminated. Would you recommend this program to other families and, and your and for staff? Oh yes, I'm an advocate for healthy families. Everyone that I see, I let them know how wonderful I love my job, what my job is about, and um, how these wonderful families that we work with and how they're accomplishing their dreams and goals and I'm able to, to help them. And I've noticed that you especially bring families into the program that probably wouldn't have agreed to services, but with your education and your abilities, you bring them in and it's terrific. I've noticed a big difference. Thank, Thank you. Thank I you. try. Thank you, Nicole. No problem. Now is not the time to reduce the state's investment in proven early intervention programs. Please contact your elected officials to help restore funding to this very important program.